Hello folks, we are at Falkirk Wheel. It's quite impressive, isn't it? Here we go on the Falkirk wheel. That should be interesting, it's about 50 minutes it's done, isn't it? Please give your full attention to this message. In the unlikely event of an incident, follow all instructions given from our crew members. There are six emergency exits on board. These exits are located at the two main doors in the centre and two at the rear of the cabin either side. Our secondary exits are located at the front and the rear of the cabin. Thank you for your attention and enjoy the trip. So we are moving really, really slowly. We're climbing up very slowly, aren't we? Definitely rising. Definitely get high now. You see the views there. from here. Very good. I think we've reached the top now. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go along the canal now. For the next half an hour or so, we'll be up here, 27 meters above our starting point on the Forth and Clyde Canal. We're now moving at 4 miles an hour over the reinforced concrete aqueduct. There's just over 100 meters between here and the tunnel, dead ahead of us. We'll go right through that and turn around before heading back and taking a look at the view that's right behind you now. You might have noticed that there are two tourist boats in service at the Falkirk Wheel, each with slight range names. Archimedes and Antman. Did you see which one you are on today when you got on? Those special names were chosen for a reason. They're both important parts of the wheel's identity. First, Archimedes. He was a scholar and mathematician in ancient Greece, who discovered something that's very important for the operation of the wheel. Any floating object displaces its own weight that's fluid. 
Okay, that might need a bit of explanation. Archimedes principle says that when an object is placed in water, for example, the boat you are sitting in now, it displaces its exact own weight in water. The amount of water that moves out of the way to make room for us is equal in weight to the boat itself. That might sound well, but it's actually really important for the smooth operation of the Falkirk wheel. Each gondola, that's the big top of water we just travelled up in, holds 250 tonnes of water. When our boat sailed in, we pushed about 60 tonnes of water. That's weight of the boat and its fuel and all the people in it, out meaning that the gondola then had 190 tonnes of water and 60 tonnes of boat in it. So, the contents of the gondola still weigh 250 tonnes. The clever part is that the other gondola will also weigh exactly 250 tons as well. We are evenly balanced with them. Enter the tunnel, you'll see a sign reading Rock Castle Tunnel. Rock Castle? You can't see a castle near here. That's because we're about to travel underneath it. Well, almost. There's a Roman castle fort on the hill really quite close Whoa. by. It was placed there around the year 143 AD as part of a network of military bases built by the Romans to defend the area. These forts were lit by a wall, running right the way across the width of Scotland. For a lot of its distance, this system of forts and walls follows the rough route of the forts and Clyde Canal, linking the east and west sides of the country. Canals were designed to make transport and communication across the country easy. The castle forts were built by the military to control people and keep them out of the northern border of war. Right back into caring for the system. 
It's our aim to make sure the canals are still here and being enjoyed by people in another 200 years. joining these two canals. They were filled in and now have blocks of flats built on them. So a new solution was needed, hence the Falkirk Wheel. Not only does it link the two waterways, but it gives us a chance to celebrate Scottish design and ingenuity once again. Okay, as we're coming towards the end of our time on this level, I just have time to share some of the facts and figures of the Falkirk Wheel. It was opened in May 2002 by Her Majesty the Queen, although she never actually broke it like you have today. There are 15,000 boats in the structure, pressed into 45,000 boat holes, and each one was tightened by hand. in Caesar Angels. So we're heading back down now. Well, that was quite fun. I thought I actually went in. A lucky cold. I think he was going first. 